It's not every day that over 300 young martial artists meet for a competition. Dubbed Kids on Mission, the occasion was the single biggest martial art event in Botswana for 2017. It brought together the country's future talent under one roof. Events such as this are increasingly getting fewer and far in between. I think those years we had a lot of tournaments, but nowadays because I think it's recession or something, we don't have a lot of tournaments, but sometimes I think uh, most of the kids that they lose interest because of how, how some, some things are done, like if, even the referees, because you know that even in soccer, referees can make an error, but those kids, they need advisors. After that error, they can just be angry and then quit karate. So most of the kids, they go to other sports schools and stuff. This competition had been planned for months. Efforts were deliberately made to target children under the age of 10 to prepare them for future tournaments. Technical officials also got an opportunity to get the officiating skills. We have to have more courses abroad, more referees from the young ones because they are still young, they can learn more. Even the athletes, we have to teach them how to ref so that when he, when he fights or she fights, she has to know the rules. This year, special attention was given to girls below 14 years. Officials say this is a crucial age to impact knowledge and passion of the game. With more girls in sport, they believe the sport will offer more than just deadly kicks and fast fists. But getting girls to commit to the sport has been a challenge. I've quit a few times before. I've, I've, there was an instance where my coach had to come get me at home because I wouldn't, I wouldn't go to training by myself because I knew what was going to happen. But they don't do it because they hate us. They just they do it for the, for, the, for the betterment of the athlete. The red flag had been raised on the state of the sport in the country, particularly in the urban areas. With the 2020 Olympic Games in Japan just about two years away, Botswana hopes to score crucial points in its effort to nurture talent from the grassroots levels. In the long run, the country hopes to see more trophies and rewards from the interventions currently being put in place. Despite their success in regional competition, stakeholders here feel that the sport of karate has taken a slump. Now, tournaments such as this are now being actively proposed to raise the standards of the game one more time. Sadiq Shaban, CGTN, in Haboron, Botswana.